touched before on Connor's ability when things break down to scramble, particularly on third down and get you a first down. How big has that been to you? And since he's been nursing that knee sprain a little bit, how much has it hurt you that you don't have it? Well, now? he takes off running, but he don't make the first downs. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've not been very good on, on third downs the last couple of games. Uh, but one thing we have been very good on is no turnovers. And uh, if you can play with no turnovers, your chances improve tremendously of winning the game. So even though uh, our last game we had an opportunity for, <clears throat> I, I look back about five different touchdown pass opportunities, didn't hit any of them. Uh, sort of hit one in the corner of the end zone, but I guess he bobbled that one a little bit. And, and then we got some overthrows and uh, drop, one drop made. But anyway, it, it just didn't hit. And uh, when you don't hit, you end up in a field goal game, and fortunately, Elliot Fry made four out of five, and, and we were able to get them last week. Uh, but anyway, uh, what was your question about? <laughs> and his ability. Yeah, third downs. Yeah, that, that, that's what led to my third down conversation. Yeah, we haven't been very good at it. Uh, but I tell you what, we're going to play Dylan a little bit this week. And yeah, I told Connor yesterday, we're going to play Dylan. I said, you play better when you know Dylan's going to play. And he does. He plays better. So Dylan's going to play somewhere first, second quarter, and we'll see what happens. You said Connor plays better when Dylan plays. Do you know why that is? Have you figured out the reason? I don't why? know, but he does. I, you know, he, he knows Dylan's going in first, second quarter, so he plays a little bit better. Seems like. I don't know. Uh, but uh, his footwork was off last week. I don't know why. His steps were off. He was off balance throwing. I don't know why. Uh, but uh, he can throw a lot better than he throws through last week. And uh, maybe having Dylan uh, play a series or two will, will help him out. Steven, at this yeah. point in the season, are you pleased with the progress that the red shirt and the true freshmen have made on both sides of the ball? Yeah, I think our linebackers have been the most uh, improved bunch. Sky Moore, uh, Kiwan Lewis, uh, TJ Holloman, Jonathan Walton, and Lorenz Bryant also playing there some. So I, I would think those guys have, have made the uh, best improvement probably of the freshmen. Looking at Coastal Carolina, what do they do that concerns you? Well, they move the ball. They run the ball very well. Uh, this running back they got is about 230 pounds, and uh, he's been running through everybody. So we're going to have to we're going to have to toughen up and stop the run, like we did the second half last game, and uh, try to get them off the field. They can stay out there a bit. Uh, they're very good on third downs because they have a lot of third and ones and twos. I think they're making 54% or something like that. So we've got we got to come ready to play. Or they, they can stay on the field, run it up and down, which is what happened the first half last week. Last week, I think it was four possessions, both teams' first half. And then, uh, then we started stopping them, and we had a lot more opportunities. Hey, Coach, uh, Joe Cash at Coastal Carolina Radio. How familiar are you with Coach Moglia? Have you met him and, you know, the kind of background of the story mm -hmm. and how he got to Coastal? Yeah, I know his background a little bit. Uh, I met him at uh, Fisher DeBerry's uh, coaches' uh, charity banquet uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, talked to him a little bit then and so forth. Yeah, I really admire what he's done there and uh, admire uh, his love for coaching. Uh, obviously, he doesn't have to coach. He does it because that's something that he's real passionate about. So uh, they've done an excellent job there. There's no question. And his assistant coaches do a super job, too. And so they've uh, they got a good program. It, it'd be interesting to watch them go through the playoffs. And uh, certainly they, they're going to be in the playoffs. And uh, they, they may have a chance to win it all. Who knows? Does a a bowl game, where you play a bowl game matter to you? I mean, if it's not the, a national championship game, is there some cachet for this program to m earn a BCS bid in some form or fashion, or does that matter at all, do you think? Oh, it matters a little bit, I guess. Uh, people brag about that and so forth, uh, that, that you go to a BCS bowl game. It pays more. So I know athletic director Tanner and President Pastides would love to see us in a BCS bowl, but for players... Uh, you know, they get the same gift, whether it's that bowl or a non-BCS bowl, as they call it. So it's, uh, it's yeah, sort of like being in the top ten or not in the top ten, something like that, a BCS bowl or not a BCS bowl. 